हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल केमिकल इंजीनियर आई एम साहिल यादव एंड वी आर डूइंग अवर कोर्स ऑन पेट्रोलियम रिफाइनिंग सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अवर कोर्स ऑब्जेक्टिव इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव सम बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट रिफाइनरी लुक्स लाइक ऑल राइट सो लुक इन रिफाइनरी द मेन रॉ मटीरियल दैट वी फीड इज a crude oil okay so this crude oil goes through various processes okay so these all are processes okay we will see one by one to all of these processes so these all are processes now from these processes we get products so general products that we should remember that we get from any refinery so from top to bottom like from first product to the last product let us see what are they so this is a fuel gases or the feed gas or you can say fuel gases okay so at the top we get a gas fuel gas then second is lpg that is liquefied petroleum gas okay one thing this image will no, may not be clear to you because uh, it is a small image i have just enlarge and zoomed it to show in ppt all right so these two are the fuel gases or we can say gaseous products that we obtain from refinery next to the gases we get gasoline so gasoline is what petrol petrol diesel then we have automotive automotive gasoline and we have some other thing that's clear not clear okay so we get here from second we get a petrol and diesel all right so second product is petrol and diesel then we get jet fuels so jet fuel is a similar fuel of kerosene okay so kerosene then we get solvents look so from top to bottom the density of the fuel increases so at the top we get gas and at the bottom we get residues so we will see then we have distillate feed uh, diesel fuel oil and all fuel oils are the oils that we generally see in any automotive uh, shop or uh, any uh, repairing shops so the oils that they use is a uh, residual oils or residual fuel oils or we can say it as a other type of oils okay or lubricants then at the bottom we have lubricant greases okay so these two all are the products with more density and at the bottom and the last we have something called asphalt uh, for road making you may have heard about it so those components which cannot be converted to the desired product are taken at the bottom as known as asphalt okay so these all are the products now let us see what are different uh, processes that occurs uh, in next video we will see how this process evolved and what are different processes yearly year wise but let us see so we have different processes so desalting is the process for uh, improving the quality then we have gas separation unit we have gas plant polymerization plant so polymerization plant so one thing earlier we used to get crude oil and convert it directly to naphtha but due to advancement of technology we found out various technologies to convert it into various products so here we first usually going uh, in the earlier 19th or 20th century we used to get naphtha only as a main product so this is naphtha then we get butane that is c4 components we have alkylation unit so alkylates are obtained isoparaffins then we have catalytic isomerization unit and one thing we have mainly two columns atmospheric distillation and vacuum distillation so those component which cannot be produced using atmospheric distillation 
are sent to the vacuum distillation and then we produce different products okay so from atmospheric distillation we used to get all type of oils okay we will see in the next video surely that what atmospheric distillation have as input and as output we will see in next video so various unit operation may include hds that is hydro desulfurization catalytic reforming catalytic hydro cracking then we have different catalytic cracking so we have fluid catalytic cracking unit as a differently present then we have coking unit solvent de-waxing unit hydro treating solvent extraction we have mass transfer as well so all these things we are going to study from the next video so this is to give you a glance that how refinery actually looks like and how complicated processes are there now in order to study it easily we have divided all those uh, different unit operation and processes one by one so we will study it one by one okay and yes this uh, stage is known as treatment stage so all these uh, units are known as treatment units so these are the units which uh, convert the crude oil to usable oil okay so here we get a product from all these processes in the middle part but last stage is the important and crucial stage in any refinery and that is treatment stage okay so this stage is treatment stage which is uh, lined here okay so these four are the treatment processes so these processes are important and how they are important we will see in the next video so i end this video here uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe us and also share us our videos to your friends and others all right thank you